Hi there, Sandy McIver here, and I'm happy to be sharing the Spellbinders Small Die of the Month for November. This is Frankie Goes to the North Pole. This is no small die set. There are lots of fun pieces to create, and it's a great time to dive into your scrap bin, dig out the colors that you want to create your very own Frankie. For this card, I've decided on a slimline, and I'm using red and blue as my main colors. I'm just going to walk you through putting the trees together. There basically are three dies to create the trees. The big one, the little one that's got three individual branches and the trunk. I cut the large one out of a light and dark green. The individual branches uh, twice out of dark and once out of light green. The star is done in mirror gold and obviously the trunk is done in brown. So I'm using liquid glue, attaching the dark one first because I want my lighter colors to show up and adding the glue to the light one and I'm going to offset it down about a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to use my piercing tip on my tool in one just to press it down and secure it. Next I'm adding a little bit of glue to my no stick mat just so I can put the tips of these individual branches into the glue and add them to the tree and then finally add the star to the top. Again using my piercing tip to push everything around and the glue gives you a few minutes to adjust those branches. Aren't they cute? And here's a quick way to embed those tiny black pieces to Frankie. Cut a white piece, then a black, and leave the black in the die. Place a piece of two-sided tape on the back of the white piece, and then lay the black over the white, and push the pieces through with the tool-in-one attachment. There's also a separate attachment with a little tiny ball on the end that works perfectly for pushing those through. For my background, I added some water to some white paint and did the splatter effect just to get some snow going for Frankie. Some of the other dies I want to point out, there's really cute little ski poles. I did those in silver and there's a short and a long of the mittens so you can have the white on the bottom, the red on the top will make it two layers. And then Frankie has two faces. You can use the straight on face with the top hat or you can use the up in the sky face like I used. There's a little North Pole sign that is absolutely adorable and there's also dies that will make the snow on top and underneath the pole. The Merry Christmas came from the Christmas Mix and Match sentiment set and is not part of this small die of the month. So here we go. I've got all the pieces ready and I have my card all filled out, but now I'm going to dry fit all of my pieces and decide exactly where I want them to go before I glue them down. And I've added a bit of foam tape to the back of Frankie because I want to pop him up a little bit just so that he's got a little bit of dimension to him. Isn't he cute? In the die set, there's a set of four little snowballs, and I decided to cut those out of iridized glimmer paper, and I'm using them as decorations on my little tree. I'm going to glue them all down. Here we go. Here's the finished card. I really had a lot of fun making him, and I've shared a PDF tutorial over on my blog for you with all the cutting instructions. There's also a list of supplies, and I hope you enjoy making Frankie's card as much as I did. Mm -hmm.